Hello everybody, Grace Still Plays, and we're back with more Landless. So this game, I was away from it for a little bit. They put out, like, I don't even know how many. Probably, like, six or seven or ten updates. It's insane. So, they fixed a lot of things. First off, the crafting system that was just epically, I hate to say it, but annoying before, is so much better now. Now, you can click on your different tabs, you can click on your item, and it will tell you everything that needs to make the item, and then you can click on that item and then craft it, which is so good. Instead of having to fish through all of the different damn different sub-menus and everything to try and find out what you're trying to do. They also added something for us to finally spend our black boxes on. If you go out into the world and you destroy these buoys that attracts all the different pirates and stuff like that, they drop black boxes. I had to restart my game, by the way. So much changed, they redid the entire like core of the game that you had to resave your game which is fine that's not a big deal but now when you go into blueprints you're gonna notice all of the different blueprints that you can get and you can unlock these with the different point values for your tech points that you get when you turn in the black boxes and then there's all different types there's smart and eco and heavy and all kinds of crap for all these there's there's quite a few um, the other thing that they did, and this is amazing, is now you can tow your houseboat with your boat. All you have to do is go over to it, back into it, load it up on the crane, and then you can tow your houseboat wherever you want. That's amazing. Right now, I've started to build a little houseboat just right next to the main city because I always, it's very easy to find the city. There's also like sonar buoys and stuff like that that you can use to plant on this thing so that you can find that extra easy. I'm super hungry, so I think I'm going to go inside here and maybe buy some food. After we do that, though, we're going to check out the big thing that they changed, which was they added deep sea diving. Not only... Hold on, let me see if I can get up here. Not, not only... Come on, big jump. Hey! Not only can you make your own deep sea diving outfit, but if you're a new player, you can utilize this one for free. And what it does, it drops you on the ocean floor, and then it's procedurally generated. There's all kinds of, like, wrecks and stuff like that. And what you do is you use like a plasma torch or something and you beat them up and then you get scrap and materials and all kinds of crap. Anyway, let me go ahead and grab some food and stuff and then we're going to go check out the ocean floor. This guy over here next to the computer is where you turn in your black boxes, by the way. You press F to interact with them and then you can turn in those black boxes. I knew that they were going to use this computer for something eventually. Oh, they also added a uh, insta-loot button. So like a loot all. So if you press F to open up an inventory or a box or something like that, you can just press F again and you'll grab everything inside. Oh, I'm so happy to see that too. All right, night has gone. The uh, daytime is starting to come upon us. We got the sun rising up. Oh, and there's something else too. Check this out. Please. There's a little bit of voice acting. Not much, but it's something. Now I just have to find out. There it is. Okay, it's over here. As the sun comes up, although the sad music is still playing, I wish we could get the happy music that plays. I love the I love the happy-go-lucky music. Let's go ahead and put on the suit over here. Yes, I do want to go underwater. So this is going to drop us down. Now, there is supposedly a flashlight that we have access to, if I can figure out how to turn it on. Oh, it's just naturally on. Okay, good. So we have two different abilities here. We have a rocket harpoon, and we have our plasma torch. You have to go back to this backpack to get back to the surface. And supposedly, there are strange things afoot at the bottom of the ocean. I can see, I don't know, it looks like geysers or something over there. I haven't really messed with it yet. We do have a sprint button as well. And then we can also, like, uh, like glide or jump. We've got, like, little rocket boosters on us and there, have you? I kind of want to keep my backpack in range, though, so I know where the hell I'm going. What is, is this, like... I don't know if this is what we're looking for or what. Like how in uh, Stranded Deep, there's little bubbles that kind of like lead you to the... What the... F what the hell? Ah! We're getting like giant... Oh, it's like a giant underwater beast. We're getting freaking lampreys shot at us or something. Oh, it's an abyssal worm. Holy crap. Okay. All right, abyssal worm. You gonna get lit. You gonna get... Ow. Holy crap. Ow, 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 ow. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. So we need to... Uh, holy Jesus. We need to maintain a distance here, a safe distance, as we blast the living hell out of this being. Do you get, we better get like a friggin' boatload of meat or something for slaying this beast. I don't know what you get. There we go, it gets about 100 damage each shot. There we go. Oh. That sound. That reminds me of something. Does it have like loot or anything? Interact. Plastic, metal, oh wow, it does have loot. 
Okay. That's odd. I don't know why you would get plastic and... Oh, look at this thing. It's like a freaking Graboid. You boys remember Tremors? It is. It's a Graboid. Oh, crap. I lost my backpack. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, we got something over here. The freaking Graboid King over there is still shooting crap at me. So now this is like a, a burned down building. Can I like light this up and get anything from it? I don't think I can. We're getting shot at as well. Yeah, see a little little giant maggots that are coming at us? I don't know what the hell. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's something up here. Ah. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely getting shot at. I'm going to have to take this thing out so I can loot this friggin' building. Oh, there's another one behind it too. How far do these things reach? Ah. They appear to reach pretty good. Let's see. Okay, so right about here is the magic distance, it looks like. Oh, his little his little lamprey things can intercept our blasts. And I don't think that our I don't think that our plasma torch does anything. I mean I can try it. Now it Whoa! Okay. That's bad. Okay, yeah, you, you can't you can't get that close without taking a friggin' licking. Alright, here comes the roar! Here comes I know what this roar is from. I mean, it may be from a bunch of games, but I remember this specifically. God, that face right there. I remember that specifically from Imperion. Um, you don't have any loot? You gotta be freaking kidding me. I know you have loot. Don't you lie to me. No loot. It definitely looked like it had loot. See? It's got the little loot indicator right there. Well, what the hell? What the hell is this? What's this? What's this? Okay. That was odd. I don't know what that was. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab this building over here. I'm very curious what, like, kind of loot spawns in these buildings. It looks like we have two different areas that we can... Ouch? Did I just get slapped in the chiclets? Was something? It looked like I just got injured or some such. There we go. Now we got something. Scrap metal, scrap wood, scrap electronics. Okay, so all that's very good. We need all that. I think I can see our backpack right over here. All right, so that was the backpack over here. But check this out. There's like a piece of a school bus. Yes! So, now this, I'm pretty sure you can plasma torch. And I think you get items from it when you break it down. Yeah, there we go. And inside the pile, we get a bunch of scrap metal. Okay, sweet. So, we got a bunch of scrap metal from that. It looks like there's another building or something up here. Whoa! Okay, I get it now. So, sometimes you go to loot this area, and the little creatures pop out. All right, I got you, I got you. So, and then this was nothing really. Ow! God, it's like an explosion. What a bunch of crap. Oh, my stamina's way down, too. Pretty thirsty as well. Am I allowed to drink and eat down here, I wonder? Um, oh, you can. Oh, that's good. Okay, that's that's actually perfect. I was really happy about that. I don't know how the hell we're eating and drinking inside the suit, uh, but I'm not going to argue with it. All right, so we got another building over here. Now, remember, they just added this. Like, this is, this is brand new. Um, so, I don't know if... Uh, well, I imagine there's going to be like a lot of a lot of additional stuff from this. Yeah, see that little critter right there comes out of nowhere, and you don't even get anything from it. I'd like to get some meat or something from these guys. Um, but yeah, I don't know if they're going to be if they're going to be doing some sort of like uh, additional, I don't know, like looting system or or destruction system. Like it would be cool if I could break these down and get like some scrap metal out of it or something like that. These are all the the buildings that were from the previous world that existed before Landless turned into. You know, a giant water world. So we got another car over here. I can see I'm going to get shot at. But that... Oh, we got a couple of cars over here. Hold on. Let me break this down real fast. Now you can you can shoot me all you want. I'm taking this crap. Nothing you can do about it, boy. Right over here. Watch this. Epic dodge. Okay, we got some scrap metal from that. As I would imagine. Go grab this car over here. And I may nuke that creature. I don't know. Sometimes the creature seems to have some good loot on them. Not all the time, but sometimes. All right. Let's see if I can grab this. There we go. I love the I love the grab all that there is now. Yeah, I'll take this one. Wor Ouch! Oh god. Okay, that really hurt. All right, I think we've done enough looting for right now. Let's go ahead and oh, there's a storage area. Oh, so you can keep going out and grabbing stuff if you want. For right now, let's go back to the surface. We're gonna mess around a little bit with some of the building because I'd like to get like maybe some walls and stuff. Ah, the pleasant music is back. Some walls and stuff on our our houseboat, and now. You can make the houseboat as big as you want. So it says, put the F-1500 back. Yes. All right. So the suit goes back. We are in the water. Can I get over to my boat? Oh, yes, you can. So you can dive down and stuff, by the way. Let me go see if I can get past. Come on now. There we go. All right. 
So we're back inside of our boat over here. We're doing okay, uh, food and drink and health-wise and everything like that. It's not too bad. Over here to the crafting station. So, oh, you know what? Let's go out by our little our little boat real quick first. So they changed it to where you can make your, your houseboat as big as you want. It doesn't matter how many platforms it is. You can make it as large as you feel the need to. So let's go out here. And I don't know... I, I never got the opportunity to mess with that mu that much because it was such a pain in the ass to make. Um, so let's mess around with it a little bit. So down here, go over to craft. All right. So if I want to do a wooden floor, I need three wooden planks. And each wooden plank is ten scrap wood. So what we can do is we can say make us... Uh, let's make like 12 for right now and that's how easy it is now now You can just go straight to the item that you need to make the bigger item You can click on it, and then you can do this also you can stack a lot of these in here uh, I don't know how many total you can stack. It's quite a few So like if we want wooden walls. Oh, they, these need wooden planks. I think does everything need oh this needs a metal frame So let's do some uh, metal frames as well. Let's do like I don't know We'll do like 10 of them or something. There we go so we'll get 10 of those going. We got a home antenna. I think that that brings you back to your house at all the time. And this whale lighting, this is kind of interesting. What in the hell is this? This may be for the house as well. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, a lot of this is like brand new to me. Oh, a crafting bench. That's kind of cool. I imagine so that's, that's so that we can craft at our house. And you can make all this stuff too. An intercept tower. Um, look at all this stuff. A hydro turret to kind of keep your base safe. This shoots like little blasts of water at anyone that comes close enough and then there's a regular bench so what's oh this is i'll bet just like a um a bench that just looks cool i got you so this is more like a uh a decorative thing oh there's a bed as well now can you sleep in your own bed i wonder well let's go you know what sure i'm gonna go make a bed real quick oh i don't a wooden plank i have wooden planks you can't lie to me oh we have to grab them okay so these have to be in your inventory so let's go ahead and craft one of these real quick. There we go. So now we have a bed going. And while we're at it, let's do a wooden floor. Because I want to see what that does. We'll do a wooden wall. Just one. And we'll do a wooden window as well. I'm kind of just getting a bunch of these done just to see how they work. There we go. And again, remember, you can stack all these and it'll just save it inside this little inventory over here. As I understand it, I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is correct. I believe you can craft from your boat storage. Uh, we can probably go ahead and try that. I'm going to throw, look at all the scrap metal and stuff we have. All this stuff like, like this over here. I'm going to put all of this just kind of in the boat inventory. And we'll see if we can do anything with it in a little bit. I've got these circuit boards over here too. We don't need that on us. That's going to free up a lot of space actually. There we go. So that freed up some space. More scrap plastic. Um, oh, actually, I guess you can just move it with a uh, the right click over here. So that's pretty good. Okay, so now we have several items. Let's go over to our little platform. What in the hell is that? I know there's a bunch of new creatures in the game now, too. There's like tuna fish, uh, hammerhead sharks, and obviously those abyssal worms. I also have a storage chest over here that I just kind of made. Just so I have a little bit of extra storage when I need it. So let's put... Let's put these down. I want to do the floor first. So let's put the floor there. Uh, and we'll put a wall over here. And then this window, I'll put... I don't even know what I'm going to need these oxygen tanks for. I know they're for when you're in the inside of the, the diving suit. If you want to stay down there, you have to use them. All right, so let's see over here. So here we have a floor. Ooh. Oh, okay. So once you have a base, once you have a platform, you can build out in all directions. Oh, that's so good. Oh, yeah. And there's a wall. Okay. All right. So now I wonder if you can take them down once you make them. I think you can. Uh, and it looks like... Now, is there a way to rotate it? Or is it, it kind of like one side fits all, for instance? Uh, it looks okay. I think it looks the same from both sides. I'm really not sure. We do have this window over here as well. Let's put that down real quick. Yes! All right, man. Modular base building. Okay, I like it. That's not too shabby. No. Oh, look at that right out there. It's a shark or something out there. Look at it. Actually, there, is there a couple things out here? Hold on a second. I'm going to just kind of look real quick. Now, you can dive with the CTR, uh, the control button. I say CTRL every once in a while. I know it's control, but... Oh, and there's another thing, too. Under the water, 
There's seaweeds that you can grab. And if you get them, you can use them as crafting supplies. I think they, um, crap, I'm trying to remember. I think they make epoxy and stuff like that so that you can uh, repair your, your boat and stuff like that. All right, so we got a bed over here. Ah, middle mouse button. You can rotate it any way you want. Um, all right, well, I guess let's put it, like, maybe right by the window over here. Like that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, crap. It acts as a save point and a sleep area. I had no idea. Uh, all right, well, crap. It's going to be, like, nighttime now. Yep, it sure is. It's nighttime. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to try to do a little bit more crafting over here. And I'm going to see if I can make us just like the beginning of a, of a decent houseboat. All right, so we got the beginning of a sad little houseboat over here. See, I put some extra floors on here, just kind of extending it. You can use the floors to build out the roof as well. This actually reminds me a lot of the game Raft uh, in this kind of like real simplistic style of how you can snap everything together very quickly. Like, you can make this very fast. It's just a matter of getting enough items in order to do it. Speaking of items, I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead out in our boat real quick. And maybe we'll hunt down some of those buoys real fast so that we can open up some new technology. Alright, so here we are out on the open waters. I can see a shark over there. The sharks, well, some of them, are not as aggressive as they used to be. Remember how before the sharks would come after you with like this single-minded death wish. And they would headbutt the living hell out of your boat with no regard for their own safety. It's not like that anymore. What the hell is that over here? That's something lying in the water? Looks like there's something just lying in the water over here. I thought I saw... Yeah, right there, there's a box. Right over here. I never looked a free gift box in the mouth or something like that. Let's go see if we can find out what the hell it is. Uh, oh, it's a cooked potato and some water bottles. That's good. I, I don't mind that. I, I can eat the potato, I guess, and you can carry a lot of water bottles on you. I only have like 10 on me or eight or something. So having a couple more is no big deal. All right, boys, we got an orca over here. If you guys remember, orca are how you get a lot of whale oil. So let's go ahead and light them up. Wow, this orca can take a freaking punishment. That's for damn sure. Come here, buddy. There we go, you scumbag. That's what time it is. Apparently the orcas do not live in fear of the giant boat at all. Let's go ahead and back our crane into this guy. Hoist him up. There we go. What you got, your orca? You switch on, not to a crowbar. You switch on over to your axe and, and you beat that ass just like that. And it'll give you several chunks. Holy God. Uh, apparently it'll give you a whole friggin' slew of raw meat as well. Wow, that's some raw meat. I mean, like, that is some serious raw meat. I don't remember them giving that much. Before, they would give you like three or something. It was so sad. While we're driving on the open ocean here, I just want to mention, man, I remember when they first started this game, there was... Oh, we got a buoy right ahead of us. Or is that a hydro turret? That may be a hydro turret. Uh, yep, that is a hydro turret. All right, let me go ahead and uh, just kind of wander around it real quick. There's no need for us to try and take that thing out right now. It's not really going to... Well, it may give us some loot and stuff like that. Anyway, what I was saying was, I remember when they very first started making this game, and there wasn't, like, a lot to it. Like, you could go out in the water, and you could, like, blow down these these uh, buoys and stuff like that. You could get the black boxes, but it didn't do anything. Like, there was no real purpose to it. Now that there's all the tech points and you can unlock all the different all the different uh, blueprints and stuff like that, there is... Hold on, I'm going to take this thing out. There is a lot of reason to go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and load up here real quick. We're going to go ahead and take this thing out. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Now it should spawn a loot crate or something. I think everything that you blow up... <laughs> Hi! Yes, the loot gods really wanted you to know about this crate. Holy crap. Whoa. Ow, Ow. holy shit. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Did you hear the death cry? <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Luckily, it does save your game at least. So the last time that we, we went ahead and we slept, that's where it saved us. So we didn't get too far. I think we killed like a shark and maybe some other stuff. Oh, I think this is one of the hammerhead sharks that runs away when you shoot it. Let me try. Yep, look at him go, man. 
Look at the speed on that shark over there. Anyway, that was the first time I died in this game. That was actually horrifying, that death scream. Oh my god, it lasted a lot longer than I thought it would. I definitely want to get this houseboat looking friggin' legit and much larger. And I'm hoping that they continue to add more underwater stuff too. Because underwater exploration is something that a game like this really, really needs. Anyway, what do you guys think about Landless and all the different updates? Feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.